Hello everyone, here is an interesting project of uh, how NDC protects the circuit from inrush current. Here is a video demonstration. I am Saurabh Gupta from Circuit Digest. So here is the setup. This is basically a capacitive circuit that is getting powered from my power supply that is providing 9 volt. So I have connected a load register that is 4.7 ohms and uh, here is the NTC that is that will protect my circuit from the inrush current i have connected to terminal to make this circuit with the ntc or without the ntc depending on the power input here is a shunt register that is one ohms in rating uh, although it is five percent but still it will do the job uh, this is connected in the ground plane and uh, i have connected my oscilloscope in this register to get the output of uh, how much current is flowing through this register and uh, this is further uh, connected with the oscilloscope so i have con i have also configured the oscilloscope in trigger mode to check what is the car peak current flowing through this register so let's see and uh, test this circuit with or without the ntc and see the effect so let's reset the trigger option Okay, I have connected this circuit in a single shot mode. Uh, let's make it without the NTC. So as you can see, here is a high peak. That is the highest current flowing through the register. Not constant, but uh, still the peak current. So it is almost 3.873 volts. Since it is a 1 ohm shunt register, 3.873 volt since it is a shunt register so uh, one ohms in value so as per the ohms law it is almost 3.8 means it's almost 4 ampere of current is flown to uh, through the register before so that is huge uh, some power supply do not have the inrush current protection built in itself so it will not uh, pr uh, protect the circuit actually in inrush current so basically i have connected the ntc let's see what is the effect with the ntc so again i am resetting the trigger again it is in a single shot mode so let's see the effect this is a very less so uh it is almost 600 millivolt that means 600 milliampere still okay but far less uh, it is it is far less than the previous value of uh, 4 ampere so this is how ntc protects the circuit uh, from inrush current this is a very effective one to protecting the inrush current as uh, it it can be resetable so uh, not like the fuse when it is blown up it's blown up you need to change it all so this is how NTC protect the circuit from uh, inrush current. You will get every information and uh, how to determine the value of NTC uh, in circuit digest website. So have a nice day. Bye bye.